guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. what's up Sherry here so this is going to be a twin flame reading for March 3rd until the 11th um, I just want to say real quickly that I won't be doing any private readings for a while um, at least three or four weeks um, I got a lot of things that I need to take care of um, for the book and for the cards so I'm going to be consumed with work um, but if you are waiting for a private reading um, I should have that out to you within the next couple of days. And I also just want to say how much I love you guys and appreciate your support and patience with me. So I'm going to use just um, some random decks here. We'll do the Twin Flame reading. So this is a John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Um, let's use the, call it Baron Reed. What is this? A good tarot, I think. Make sure that you guys can see these all. Maybe I can just move these over a bit more. Eh? Oh, can't see. Okay, all right. And let's see the near future. Let's use Dorian Virtue. I haven't used this deck for a long time. Okay, and what else? Let's use the Osho Zen for the final outcome. And for the, the bottom of the deck as well. I love the Osho Zen. And what else? Um, okay, so I think I'll pull my deck out here. So for the Union Energies, I'll use my deck. So this Foundation, Crowning, and Heart Centered. And what else? I'm going to just shuffle this deck while I'm thinking about it. So this is my smaller deck. I'll be using these for clarifiers. I don't think I'm going to pull this you know, the three per position, maybe just one. Okay, well, the call it Baron Reed, um, Wisdom of the Oracle. Right. So this is going to be what each aspect is bringing into the union. Okay, so let's begin. So starting with the feminine side. Uh, what is in her past position is nice. Well, not nice, but <laughs> throat chakra. It's nice to see that uh, a chakra was activated. Um, so this is speaking her truth. So she had something to say, and she had the chance to say it, it seems to me. So yeah, let's go ahead and find out what that thing is. Nine of Wands. So this is a wounded warrior. This is feeling um, like you've made it to the finish line, or you're almost at the finish line. And... You know, you, you're, you feel like you're going to give up, you're, you know, you don't have, you know, what it takes to, to finish. So you're losing strength, um, but the nine means that you're nearing the completion of that. So it seems to me that the feminine needed to say some things. Um, she needed to put down the burden. The ten of wands is all about, you know being caught in this machine, taking on too much at one time, and, and collapsing in exhaustion. So the feminine was carrying a burden, and she spoke her truth. She said what she needed to say, or um, maybe some communication came in that cleared it up. Let's see what the next cards say. Can you see those? All right. 
So what is in the Maskin's past is nine of swords, darkest fears. So two nines already. So the nine of swords is um, stabbing thoughts, being in the mind, being consumed with you know um, fears, worries, uh, so much so that it consumes your life. You can't think of anything else but. Um, but just like the card says, darkest fears, you need to face your darkest fears in order to overcome, um, you know, it's, you know, this is also a, a mental prison as well. So you need to break yourself free of that. So again, because it's in the past and it's in line, it, you know, it seems to me that maybe the cycle has ended. So let's pull a clarifier. The queen of earth. So the queen of earth could represent, um, an earth sign but this represents the feminine aspect in the 3d reality now it also is somebody who um, is very motherly who looks after her children who works a full-time job as well but it's somebody who's very grounded uh, very successful um, and she can hold her on she's independent but she gives of herself as well so there's been some worry some stabbing thoughts or anxiety associated with either an earth sign or with, you know, the feminine. I'm not exactly seeing how that's related to the feminine side yet, but let's carry on. So what's in the feminine's present position is the page of fire. So this is, you know, great news, great communication. Um, it is something that's very exciting. So this is a very playful energy, very youthful. So it's fire as well. So this is, you know, putting yourself out there and, um, you know, it's less than the king of wands who is a leader, who is very charismatic, draws people towards him, can influence lives. This is somebody who's just starting out, you know, on this new adventure and they're very enthusiastic and excited but yet they they have that warm energy that attracts people to them so you know what, I'm gonna pull out the book and we'll just read the description yes I know I got a very squeaky chair so the page of fire Okay, so it says enthusiastic, action, adventurous, venturing forth, beginning a project, acting on a new idea. I am free to venture forth for co creating a life true to my desires, my right. I am finding my purpose as I take the first step into something new. My idea, my ideas have value. I dream boldly. Nice. So I see her overcoming some challenges, whoops, putting down some burden, speaking her truth, and beginning a new adventure, beginning um, maybe a new career path or... Um, you know, being a light worker, perhaps. Okay, so I'm just pull one card for that. Wow, Yang. So Yang is the Emperor, Divine Masculine. Um, you know, this could be um, a fire sign. But what I'm seeing here is the feminine pursuing something that will lead her to her masculine. Perhaps let me just pull a clarifier. So I'm just gonna use my small deck here. What do you mean by the Yang card, please? No more. Hmm. Okay. So what I see here is, you know, this card is very much like the Fool. Um, they're excited about a new beginning, about pursuing some type of path that's going to bring them. Um, closer to who they are, their higher self, right, their true authentic self. And this card is all about authenticity as well. The emperor gains his strength from being authentic, being very grounded in his knowing, in his truth. And then we have the no more card. So I feel a, a divide. I feel the feminine... Although she loves masculine, there's a sense of her letting him go. And I, 
I'm not 100% about that, but I mean, that's what the cards are saying, but I'm not really feeling that in my heart of hearts. So let's see what the masculine is bringing in the present position is the Eight of Fire. So this card is about communication. Um, it's also accelerated motion, so it's very positive energy. It's uplifting. It's stepping on the gas pedal. And what I see here is, is I don't know, what is that, a moon boat or something. And there's like a, a little person sitting at the front there. And so they're facing, they're traveling towards the feminine energy. So let me just read that. So what was that? And interesting how we got both fire here in the present moment. So that's passion. It's creativity. Oh, cool. I almost opened it right to the page. Okay, so it says um, gathering momentum, celebrating uh, swift changes, travel, transformation. Momentum is building as the power of spirit serves to uh, power this transformation. I am traveling to new territories and I am eager to experience all that these lands have to offer. I have arrived at my destination and now the adventure of discovery is energizing me. Okay, so he's discovered something, a truth, and, and he feels that the answers are, he's seeking some answers and, and the answers are within reach but he's almost achieved the goal that he's wanted. This card is all about manifestation as well, so let's just pull a clarifier. Wow, the tower. So the tower is illusions coming down. It's, um, you know, it's a sudden change, just like this card as well. It's pointing to a disruption. This could be an aha moment that completely transforms your life, or um, it's making a realization that the life that you've been le leading is you know it's not for your higher good or it could be some type of tragic event that has set you on a different course so even though there's this momentum building there's this exhilaration and excitement that you're you know you're you have your goals within reach um i'm almost seeing like this energy kind of plowing through the tower uh welcoming it um or explosions of realizations going off in the present moment. I don't know. So let's carry on here. Okay, so what is in the near future for the feminine is the Three of Swords. So it says, release the past. You will grow from the situation. Time heals all wounds. So the Three of Swords is a broken heart. You know, it is experiencing deep pain and loss and sorrow. So the near future, the feminine will either hurt somebody or be hurt. So let's just pull clear for, for that one. Nine of Pentacles. So this card is very similar to the queen, right? The queen would be independent. She would be somebody who enjoys a luxury, who treats herself. Uh, this card is independence. It is an arrival, not having to worry about money anymore. It's being radiant, ripe for, you know, um, like the harvest has come in. So the two cards together, again, I, I see no more related to this card. Uh, it is, you know, gaining her independence, her freedom, um, and not allowing her heart to be broken anymore. Okay, so what is in the near future for the masculine is the Four of Cups. Wow. Another sad card. So this is seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So the Four of Cups in, is disconnect and boredom or stagnation feeling like things aren't moving but it's also somebody who's kind of turning their back on love um, and so there's a lot of regret here there's longing there's loss and so what I'm seeing is you know look for the magic in life look for positivity but also feel that loss whatever it is okay so one card Wow, heart chakra. So 
you know, this is unconditional love. It is also the motor that drives consciousness, right? You feel unconditional love from your twin flame, and and that that's what awakens you. And so what I'm getting here is, you know, being stuck in the past, um, maybe realizing where you've made some mistakes in your life, but it's in the near future. So there's a sense that you, you will be feeling a great deal of love, but at the same time, a great deal of sadness. Very confusing. Okay, so I'm going to leave the final outcome. Let's skip to the union energy. So the foundation is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, very strong foundation. Um, so this is completion. This is a long-term goal manifested not only in your life, but in your family and into the future. So it's retirement. So, you know, maybe there's this vision that is driving both aspects. We have the Queen of Pentacles who, um, you know, is almost at the, the, the Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles, obviously, is, it's one less than this card. So in the near future, the feminine may be feeling like she's arrived or successfully completed something that has... Um, that will ground her success for a long time. But this, is, again, is coming in as a past because it's the foundation. It's what's grounding this entire union. So let's see. What do I want to do? Okay, so I'm going to pull one card each. So for the feminine first is the solar plexus, and for the masculine is six of pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is a cohabitation card, sharing your life with somebody in 3D, but it's also being open and, you know, it's reciprocation, sharing your energy with somebody, being open to that, but not only being open to it, it's like giving of yourself to people because you know uh, what it feels like to not have, you know, to be struggling and not have anybody to turn to. So there's a sense of offering a helping hand, um, the solar plexus chakra for the feminine is power, it's strength, it's courage that's needed to um, to conquer the world or to make something happen in the external world. So these two together, there's a sense that there's a strong foundation that the masculine is actively involved in growing this foundation and a sense of being open and receptive we can see that receptivity with the queen of pentacles as well because she is the one who gives of herself you know and there was this major fear that the masculine was holding on to so what i'm seeing here is him letting go of those fears and being open to coming together long term perhaps um and the feminine so these two cards together is is telling me that she is you know, it's kind of reflecting this Nine of Wands as well. Very fiery, um, requiring a lot of strength to get through something, to communicate something. And because she was able to do that, it took a lot of strength and courage for her to do that. She almost gave up, but it ultimately it grounded something into the long term. Right, Whatever she said, whatever she did has grounded success in the future and it opened the masculine to giving of himself or maybe the masculine felt the feminine give to him right that could be the fe the the queen of pentacles hand opening up offering something to the masculine um, and because of that there's this long-term vision and this this security this sense of safety Okay, so what is in the crowning position is the Nine of Cups. Wow. So dreams fulfilled. They want to live this happily ever after. Um, you know, this is another nine. So it, it's, a, it's satisfaction. It's uh, being surrounded by your friends, um, celebrating life, um, pursuing things that make you happy. Um, but you both want this. You both want the Nine of Cups. You want your dreams to be fulfilled. You want to feel love, and you, you don't want to worry about things anymore. Okay, so 
the six of so or sorry the seven of swords and the two of pentacles so again you know there's this change that's happening on the masculine side um and the two of, of pentacles is either feeling pulled in two different directions or a seed of intention being grounded taking root and making you feel off balance but what i feel here is as a crowning energy the masculine wants to manifest this nine of cups into his reality and he's working towards that uh, there is a change and he's he's aware of this change but he is he's desiring it right he's moving towards the tower so the feminine is bringing in the seven of swords so this I kind of feel is re reflective of the no more of the three of swords you know this is deception feeling like you are going to be stabbed in the back feeling like somebody's lying to you um, and these are all just thoughts in your own mind so you know you can break yourself free of that that mental prison because the next card up is in the mental prison right the eight of of swords so you want to be free of these negative thoughts, these fears, and you want to manifest your dreams into reality. You want to feel that emotional fulfillment. And you you can't fully believe that it is a possibility. So you're still holding on to that dream or that desire, even though there's a sense that you're not putting any more effort forth in terms of the connection with the masculine. Uh, every time I, I come back to this position, I don't feel that I'm reading that correctly. So what should I do? Um, I'm going to pull an additional card from Call It, Baron Reed, uh, Enchanted Map. Please give me a little bit more clarity, please. Balancing Act change and remember I felt there was that divide that division and that's an 11 it's you know about feeling balanced so let's just read that okay so you are calm within no matter the fluctuations of outer conditions there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is, the mom now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, and level path. So there's that path again wanting to to have balance wanting to restore some wrongs okay so what i feel here is a sense of choosing a path that's probably going to lead her to the masculine right we got this beautiful energy um in these two cards and they're both looking at the masculine she wants to restore you know, the imbalance. She wants to per perhaps reconnect with the masculine and, you know, right the wrongs that she's done. Okay, so let me just move these up too so I don't get these mixed up. All right, so let's go into the union energy. Okay, so what is the feminine bringing into the union is exchanging gifts. So there's that being receptive, being open. Right, the two of them are giving each other gifts, sharing. So she is open, so it's another confirmation there. So let me actually read that card. So 27 is another 9. Oh, wow, and open it right to the page. Okay, so it says, hold on, let me just get the next page ready. Okay, so... The law of giving and receiving, and that's what this card is about, giving and receiving, and so is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, 
weighing costs and de determining value. So there's that determining value again, weighing, balancing, right? Okay, so the relationship message. Love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. There's that reciprocation word. You must give and receive in order to, for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. Um, Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you, as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, again, I think I feel very strongly it's the the feminine just being open to giving unconditional love no matter what. And but also um, her generosity, her openness is helping the masculine to come out of a darkened state. But still not too sure what's happening in the near future. <laughs> a little worried about that. Okay, so let's put one card. Wow, destiny. Good luck, good fortune, and again, this turn this points to a change. So she is, she realizes things are out of her control. Um, she wants to regain balance. She wants to, you know, what I see here is the law of giving and receiving being sent out into the, into the universe, and the, and the destiny card is that energy coming back. It's karmic energy, but also I'm also seeing a surrender to it, knowing that there's nothing more that she can do, that everything is kind of happening in divine timing. Okay, so what is the masculine bringing into the union? Come to the edge. Yeah. Again, the energy is facing the union, and there's beautiful heart-shaped rose petals that are being released so again coming to and I think this card is all about opening yourself up as well so let's see what it says thirty-six another nine. Oh, it, oh never mind I thought I had opened it to the page is actually 37 but I guess it is the page right it's the back of 36 okay So, courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, again, wow, right? This card is darkest fears, and accepting risk. A risk would be the tower, accepting, interesting, okay. So, the relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, isn't that true? To allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you've kept hidden and protective. Now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It's important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are, say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. Oh my God, that makes me want to cry. If you're seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step towards the gods and they will deliver what you truly desire so again in openness giving of yourself and, and showing those parts of yourself that you've been keeping hidden so in terms of what he's bringing to the union is openness and exposing himself you know facing his darkest fears and, and opening up okay so one card four swords so this is a retreat it's healing as well. Um, so this is, you know, it's it's withdrawal going into solitude, but it's it's doing it so that you can heal your heart. The three of swords came before this card, right? So the three of swords is showing up in the near future. So in order to truly experience love and feel love, you need to love yourself first and foremost and so that's what I'm seeing happening here and so that's what these two cards could mean as well right the four of cups is either somebody leaving because this is all about attachment when that thing doesn't work out or you know there's a sense of disinterest there um, when that 
thing doesn't work out, you, you experience pain, you experience heartbreak, and I forgot what my point was, but um, it it causes you to heal that those old wounds within yourself, and so that's what I'm seeing here again is um, a need a need to heal yourself in order to really open yourself to a person. Okay, hope that made sense. So what is that? The heart centered. Wow, the King of Wands. So the King of Novak's given. So we got two core cards here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles, Earth, uh, King of Fire. Um, there's also Page of Fire over there, coupled with the Yang, which is, you know, those are two very powerful, fiery energies together. So there is this very powerful energy, very you know, the center of attention being center stage, people are noticing them um, and being drawn to them. Um, and, you know, I see like a light worker kind of thing, but this is at the heart. So this is shared at the heart. So this is passion, desire, sexuality, hunger, right? A burning desire. Um, and kings are also... Um, air as well so there's this clarity about his passion or and her passion because this could be both desiring this or being this energy at the heart okay so let's pull some clarifiers so one card each star card and wow two major arcanas of the universe so the feminine at the heart is bringing in the star card so this is healing again repeated theme there's this healing happening between the two of them and so this is also hope for the future that the worst is over now so i see very open giving um, gentle energy coming from the feminine understanding that the masculine has been wounded in the past and it's almost like Maybe she's the one giving him a hug or vice versa, right? Um, the Nine of Pentacles is manifestation. It's a very positive card. So there's this openness as well to this card. It's, you know, having enough to be able to splurge. Hmm. Okay, anyway, the Universe card is the end of the Fool's journey. So the Masculine is completing a major cycle in his life. And, you know, so he's... He's coming into some major realizations again, that tower, um, you know, this completion of a cycle from, in a, you know, that could last an entire lifetime or up to 20 years. But he's discovering the secrets of the universe. He is, you know, this is the Nirvana card as well. So it's re reaching the state of pure ecstasy, um, pure consciousness. Right? We have this eye looking into the universe, the, which is a vortex, and understanding the physics of, of dualities and symmetry and, you know, electromagnetism, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so at the heart, there's this burning, you know, that the king of, of wands is the center of the sun, right? So there's this incredible light glowing at the center of this connection. Um, and like this climatic moment that and hope for the future right there's something that they're completing together in the ethereal realm remember the reading is for the collective right uh, it is and you are the collective so it this reading is for everybody but as we are as a whole okay so let's read the final outcome card for the feminine maturity the ace of pentacles very nice and so what i'm seeing here is this there's a person here that has a silhouette made of flowers and so this is growth and i got to grab the book just one second squeaky okay so pentacles Okay. 
So the Ace of Pentacles in the Rider Waite deck is the beginning of a new venture. It is um, having abundance coming into your life. Having a, you know, It's a gift from the universe. It's a new beginning and it's a seed of intention being grounded in the 3D reality. So it's a new start in the 3D. So let's just read this. Okay, so this figure stands alone, silent and yet alert. Uh, hmm. The inner being is filled with flowers that carry the quality of springtime and regenerate wherever he goes. This inner flowering and the wholeness that he feels aff affords the possibility of unlimited mo movement. He can move in any direction, within and without. It makes no difference, as his joy and maturity cannot be diminished by externals. He has come to a time of centeredness and expansiveness. The white glow around the figure is his protection and his light. All of life's experiences have brought him to this time of perfection. When you draw this card, know, um, know well this moment carries a gift. For hard work, well done. Your base is solid now, and success and good fortune are yours. For they are the outcome of what has already been experienced within. That is so interesting. That's what I was saying about this major foundation that has been grounded. Your success is grounded. Also, you know, this flowering is the queen of earth. She spreads her seeds for all. So, you know, there's this this stillness there, this knowing that she has done everything that she needs to do and there's a sense of this abundance coming towards her good luck good fortune right that same kind of idea she i you know almost every single card it's this energy of her giving okay so let's pull one card there we go there's that ten of wands that i was talking about right i mentioned it down here with this oops with this card um, so it's the end of the burden. So it's, it's, we got an ace here and then 10. So there's an 11. It's, it's an ending and a new beginning. So she's put down the burden. She's, um, no longer caught in this, you know, in the hamster wheel, a repetitive cycle happening over and over and over again. And, and what I just noticed, <laughs> is the 11 on the clock. I put that in purposefully. I got the 11 11 here, but I totally forgot to do it. But I forgot about it, but I, for some reason, my eye was drawn to it at that moment because we've got an 11 here. Um, yeah, so this is reaching the, the finish line, realizing that in order to stay at that successful level, you need to continue to give more and more of yourself and your body can't handle it, so you collapse in exhaustion. Okay, and so what I see here is this phoenix rising. Uh, and this flowering happening as a result. So, it's kind of very similar to these two cards as well. You know, this sense of completion, groundedness that comes from taking on too much. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine, or the masculine, is the three of wands experiencing. So being in the moment, very similar energy to that card as well. So let me read it. Okay. You just look around. Look into the eyes of a child or into the eyes of your beloved, your mother, your friend, or just feel a tree. Have you ever hugged a tree? Hug a tree. And one day you will come to know that it is not only that you have hugged the tree, but that the tree also responds. The tree also hugs you. Then for the first time you will be able to know that the tree is not just the form. It is not just a certain species the botanists talk about. It is an unknown God, so green in your courtyard, so full of flowers in your courtyard, so close to you, beckoning you, calling you again and again. Wow, that flower 
right? There's so much growth and, you know, they, they both have that same peaceful, serene look on their face. Now, this card is also about just really looking at nature around you and communing with earth, right? Uh, feeling that connectedness with all. And so, yeah, I, I feel beautiful expansiveness here in connection, feeling connected. And it's because, yeah, the masculine was able to open himself up after, you know, being closed off, being afraid to love. Throat chakra, very hill, same card, cycles, repeating. So she was right, you know. You send those beautiful intentions out and then you come back full circle. So the throat chakra again, communication. Okay, so something the feminine did in the past made the masculine realize or, or really be able to connect with himself and to all um, on a cosmic level and that forces him to communicate? I don't know. But I can see there's this, you know, transition from the heart chakra being opened to the throat chakra, which is one level higher, right? We've got these chakras being activated. And another interesting thing is, you know, we've got the solar plexus chakra, but it's coming from the, se the feminine side. That is that fuel, that passion, that is driving awareness and consciousness and, and awakening. So either the masculine speaks this truth or a, a truth is spoken. Either way, there's this beautiful, rested, um, centeredness that will be achieved by both aspects. Very balanced helping each other to move forward and be the calm within the storm. Okay, so what is the overall energy? Wow, intensity. The Knight of Wands. The only card, court card we don't have for fire is the Queen. Okay. Zen says, think of all the great words and great teachings as you, as your deadly enemy. Avoid them because you have to find your own source. You have to not be a follower, an imitator. You have to be an original individual. You have to find your innermost core on your own with no guide, no guiding scriptures. It is a dark night. But with the intense fire of inquiry, you're bound to come to the, the sunrise. Everybody who has burned with intense inquiry has found the sunrise. Wow. Others only believe. Those who believe are not religious. They are simply avoiding the great adventure of religion by believing. Wow. Wow. Right. And so there's, you know, this journey that each aspect are going, you know, on, on their own. Right. We've got that page of of wands and mirroring the aid of wands and so that's movement it's starting a new adventure it's spirituality it's coming to these realizations you know and it's pursuing something with intensity and you know and in, in realizing that if you want something you need to push yourself forth make those things happen Right, so we see this, you know, coming out of that flame, coming out of that, um, you know, being reborn. That's basically what I'm, I'm seeing there. Okay, so I am going to pull the two final messages from the universe, and I will read those to you. Autumn mermaid and mermaid with a baby alligator. So... This card talks about having being resilient, and this card talks about waiting. Oops, where's the book? This 
it's kind of funny, you know, everything has a spirit, everything is a God, right? I had the, 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 when, uh, when I read this card to you, there's a sense that everything is alive, right? <laughs> and so the chair really wants to be noticed today for some reason. <laughs> a lot to see. Okay. As Mother Nature sheds her autumn frock, preparing for her snowy cloak, she casts away the finery of handsome maple and hardy oak. As seasons change, so must I, sub subject to the climb's extreme. Yet I cannot be help but long for warmer days and sunny streams. A melancholy mermaid, deep in thought, lies in a pond beneath a shedding tree in autumn. She weeps gently as the leaves tumble down, a sign that cooler temperatures and less vibrant times are ahead. Natural change is coming. Change is inevitable. We are exposed to the cyclical patterns of nature. At times we rejoice, at times we buckle down to prepare for harsher weather to come. It can be easy to wallow in self-pity, pining for the warmth of light of summer. But colder, darker days will come, and it is important not only to embrace yourself for them, but also to embrace them. Be prepared for a natural change that might seem negative on the surface, yes, if anticipated appropriately, this change may be, ple may be a pleasure when embraced. Each season of our lives brings joy, sorrow, new activities and duties. Preparation is key. Look ahead to what nature is bringing you and busy yourself with plans. So what I'm feeling is, you know, it's pointing to the four cups of three swords. You know, there's some, there is this change that's occurring. You can feel that with the destiny card and balance and... You know, and so the best thing to do is to embrace that change. The burden will end, and there will be that new growth, that new beginning. But um, something is ending for the feminine. And, you know, that no more card is really standing out very strongly. Okay, let's read this one. Five, the mermaid with baby alligator. Okay, so mermaid with... A baby alligator. My buoyant baby, slight and new, rugged leather, lined with dew, firm and fit, poised to attack, falling forward, snapping back. A bathing beauty keeps a close watch over her baby, a thick skinned striped alligator hatchling. The young reptile um, the young reptile's sharp teeth and rough exterior are in sharp contrast to his mistress's delicate loveliness. So the meaning is remember your resilience. Life can be tough, and lately things have been taking their toll, uh, their emotional toll. Yet in spite of everything, you are doing all right. You are not just a victim of your circumstances. You are a survivor. Like the alligator, you have the courage and strength and hardiness to deal with the challenge, or any challenge, and to handle life's setbacks with renewed determination. You've been blessed with all the tools necessary to maintain a sense of well-being, be it patience, faith, and even sense of humor in the face of adversity. You have what it takes to remain resilient, even though the tough times will not be going away anytime soon. Focus on your re resilience and you will come out stronger. Okay, so, yeah, I just see him overcoming this fear of having his heart broken, opening up, you know, and completing this major cycle in his life. So hang in there. And yeah, so like, that concludes the reading. So um, once again, I won't be doing any personal readings for a while. I will let you know when I'm going to do those again. And if you're waiting for a reading, those are coming out very shortly. And also, I will continue to do the, the weekly readings. Okay? All right. Cheers. Love you guys. Peace.